Okay, one of the guys that I follow a lot is a dude named James Wedmore, and he is basically my go-to guy for all things YouTube video and YouTube video marketing. And he put out this really interesting trick here. He talks about something called a YouTube directory. So one way to get more subscribers and things on YouTube is with this thing that you can create and then put at the end of your video while you're editing it uh, and then upload the whole thing to YouTube. So basically the crux of it is, I'm going to pause it right here, uh, he talks about you know what it is and some of the useful ways to use it in his video tutorial, but the thing of it is he shows you how to create it uh, and to do certain things. He uses uh, Keynote and ScreenFlow. James is a Mac dude through and through. But what I wanted to do was kind of show folks who aren't Macintosh centric how to do this very easily. So what I did was I went ahead and I created a template for everybody. So this is a PowerPoint template and basically what we'll do is kind of do the same thing that James talks about in his video, only here I've just made a really simple example, one for widescreen elements. In other words, if the video that you're going to put here or your preview to your next video is, well, a YouTube video, it might be in widescreen format. Okay, so what all these are are little placeholders. They're just boxes. Okay. And what you can do is you can really put anything in here you want. You can put your, like your website here, like learncamtasia.com. So we kind of have a lower third thing going on here for branding. Um, and then I also created, you know, a little uh, box right here uh, just to give a little bit of stuff that you can play with. Now, when I say play with, I mean you can go in and you can change the background or if you don't like blue, let me just give you a couple of tips here. This is just a rectangle shape. So if I click on this, you can then go to the format tab and you know get any kind of look or feel or color scenario or whatever it is you want. I just used, you know, a sample here, but it's really easy to play around with those things. Uh, change your fonts if you want, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, just kind of to come up with uh, an interesting thing. I also put, you know, an example of a oh a little bit richer kind of background here that you could could swipe. For example, on this kind of background, if you didn't like blue again, here's a trick not a lot of people know about. If I go to here and then say format background, one of the things you can do is change the the color, and if you use the recolor here. Now you can probably come up with something that's at least in the general color scheme of whatever you know you want your ending rectory clip to be. So you can kind of play with that. Uh, so anyway, how you would use such a thing is to go ahead and make your changes here. You know, put your website in, uh, whatever you want to do. You can you can add any number of interesting elements here. I picked this little graphic. Uh, to use, you know, subscribe on YouTube, and let me give you tips on how to look for some stuff. For example, I went to Google, and I just Googled YouTube subscribe, and then I clicked on images. So these are images uh, from a search, you know, for YouTube subscribe. Now, what I don't want you to do is just steal these images, but what you can do is look for some creative ideas and then kind of, you know, whip those out or create them in PowerPoint. Here, for example, you know, that's kind of goofy or interesting, but it's a creative and visual thing you might uh, consider doing. Oh, you know, and then and then just start to look for what other people see. This one's kind of cool uh, right there. So let's say you wanted. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to try to use something like that. This little image right here, I believe, is an icon. If you go to iconfinder.com and search for YouTube, you will find all kinds of images, and you want to check the rights on each of these, but almost all of these are, are, free, are free to use, basically. 
Uh, so again, maybe use this to get some, some ideas uh, for how to create your own subscribe here kind of thing. Okay, so just a couple of tips to uh, maybe think about um, changing some of these things. So just kind of lay it out, uh, you know, on a slide. And then the way we're going to use this is really simple. <laughs> you uh, make your changes. And actually, let's go up here, and uh, or I'll just modify this one. Uh, da, da. I'm going to change it to LearnCamtasia.com. I used a, I think, Arial Bold here, but you know, if you're going to use a font, use something nice and clean and and sharp. So all I'm going to do is, at this point, go to File, Save As. And I'm going to give this a name. We'll call it Learn Camtasia. And I'll go ahead and just put it in this directory so I could find it. But the secret is I don't want to save it as a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Right? So save it as a PNG. And then I just want to save the current slide. So whatever slide you've modified here, if it's uh, widescreen like the one I did, or whatever, just current slide only. And now I'll be able to go into Camtasia. And this really only works elegantly in Camtasia 8. So that's all I'm going to cover at the moment. So import media. OK, so step one. And the reason this works best in Camtasia 8 is because we can stack things on top of each other layers. So the bottom layer is going to be this image that we just created. Okay, You drop it down and now you'll see what we have is just a static image Okay, on the canvas here. So this is like our background, if you will. And then at this point, what you can do is, is like I say, uh, put maybe a video clip here. For that element, I'll just drop it down here. I have a a bit of a video file, okay, and, and then just size it to cover up your little placeholder, okay. So there, now I got this video that's going to play, and you'll notice that my my clip here is a lot longer than my background. So all you really need to do is stretch it out, make everything fit. So right now I've got about a minute fifteen of extra time that people are going to watch this this little video clip here. They'll be able to click here to subscribe. And let's see, I have one other video clip that I'm just going to drop in. Now this one uh, w that plays down in the lower right hand corner here, I just want a video, I just want a visual. I don't want the audio, right, certainly because they would step on each other. Uh, so for for this clip, I'll go ahead and again just uh, resize it to fit and let's zoom in here a little bit there we go that looks pretty good okay cool uh, but I don't want the audio so I'll click on the track right click separate video and audio and then uh, select the audio and just delete it Okay, so now what I have, what do we got? Uh, oh, and I'll also shorten this. Boom. So now I got about a minute and some seconds of these three elements stacked on top of each other. And I'll just go ahead and let this roll for a second and kind of see what's going to happen. So I've got a audio going on here and You'll notice uh, this is just kind of playing along over here, enticing someone, you know. Uh, and here's my main content. And that's basically uh, all I need to do to create this thing. So what I'd like to do is maybe put this at the end of a bunch of YouTube videos that, I, that I'll be making and uploading. Uh, so I want to add this to the library. So you just select everything. And we can, at that point, add to library under edit. Edit, add to library. 
give it a name LC YouTube directory so let's say uh, for to wrap the demo up then that this is the main video that I'm working on and at the end of this I want to put my cool new YouTube directory since it's in my library all I got to do is drag it down and boom okay so don't get confused here I mean I use the same actually let me just get rid of these and it'll look a little more natural so if this was my main video okay so when now when I uh, export this uh, produce this out and ship it up to YouTube again James goes over uh, let me see where's James James at the end of his little tutorial here shows you how to do the uh, the annotations in case you don't know how to do that it's really super simple uh, so I'll probably leave that for another bit of a tutorial but um, anyway that's just uh, something really interesting that would be super easy uh, that you could reuse all the time you know